So now let's see how we can add an effects inside of a design file in Figma. So in order to work around with effects, first of all, I'm going to go around and bring in an object that I want to work with. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go around, bring in a polygon item right here. And let's, let me just change around the color over here as well. So now what you can do is you can go around onto effects right here, click on the plus button, and you can see that drop shadow has been applied. So if you were to zoom in right here, you can see that there's a bit of a shadow right here. And if you want to change the effect settings, you can go around right here. And there you go. There are different effects that you can uh, go around and change the property of. For example, you can go around, type in uh, Y40 right here. You can blur out the level to, let's say, 20 right here. And you can also change around the um, uh, X um, axis of the shadow as well. So I'm going to change 40 right here. And you can see that it is 40 pixels apart from X and Y axis right here. You can go around into Y axis, press minus 40. And this is what you have, as you can see right here. You can also go around right here, change around the color of the shadow. And over here, you can change around the opacity of the shadow as well. So this is what you have. So if I were to go around right here, this is the drop shadow, as you can see. You can go around over here and change the type of the shadow. You can go around, choose inner shadow right here. You can go around and choose layer blur right here as well. And you can work around with it uh, with its effects options to change around the settings right here. So that is how you can work around with uh, the um, effects inside of um, uh, Figma, inside of a design file. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.